Um, you know, one more racing gives me a chance to actually uh, compete and stay within the sport. Um, not possible for me to do domestically, so I'll just specialise in one more racing. Right, and which one of the races do you compete in? Uh, today, the French Derby, Young Bird Race, the Thailand Grand Pigeon Race, um, previously Las Vegas, uh, South African Million Dollar Race. Uh, Belgian Masters, so a variety of different races around the world. What um, successes have you had? Uh, been quite lucky actually, in fairness. Uh, first Europa Classic, 2009. First Las Vegas in 2010. And um, first Thailand Grand Pigeon Race in 2012. Uh, were there any particular bloodline? Um, the Europa winner was uh, Bretras in Belgium uh, for a Medsitna bloodline, which was Keys Boshua crossed with Nick O'Condas. Uh, the Las Vegas winner, again, was bred for us in America, which was Mike Gannis bloodline. And the 2012 Thailand uh, winner was bred by ourselves, which was Van Loon, Boshua, um, Verkirk. So, different bloodlines in each of the races, really. Was Mike Gannis, he um, bred a, a pigeon specifically for one-off races, didn't he? He does, he does, yeah. He specialises, again, in many one-off races, very successful. Have you had any discussions with him on yeah, what Yeah, I met Mike over why? in Thailand. Um, had a good conversation with him, in fairness, yeah. Um, again, he's racing the elite, so very specialised in what he does. And pigeons. anybody that's interested in one off racing, what would your advice be, considering you, the success in the pigeons that you've acquired? What do you I would just recommend just think about buying and breeding pigeons which are fast maturing, race well as young birds, good pigeon to good pigeon, not necessarily um, going out there to look for you know a breed that could be fashionable. Um, it's about just breeding good one more race pigeons and generally <clears throat> one more race pigeons you know after the final races of good pigeons to put into your stock loft. I've had good, good success by uh, buying those pigeons, putting them in the breeding loft and mixing different bloodlines. So that's that's what I would advise. Is there anybody in particular that you got your eye on? At this moment in time, um, I'm always looking. I'm always looking. So based, you know, based on today's result, I think G and K Jones they've had a good race today. Brian Clayburn again, he's had a very good race today. So again, they're good pigeons which um, have stood the test. Um, I like the Kirk pigeons. Very keen on that bloodline. They've had a good season this year again on the domestic scene, not necessarily on the one off race scene. But again, for middle distance pigeons, one day pigeons, they're a good bloodline. Um, I'm always looking. D doesn't necessarily have to come from a certain fans here. No. And how's today's race panned out for you? What do you think? To um, super, super race, good race, hard race, fair race. Weather was very, very hot temperatures. Pigeons, which have made it, you know, good luck. It's um, it's been a very good race today. And the wind direction did that make much difference to the the way the pigeons? I came, don't do think? think so. No, I think it's more temperature driven today. There right. was a little touch of east wind. But I wouldn't say it's um, had any sort of bearing. Um, it's made it a very hard race today, with the temperatures over 30 degrees. Um, the pigeons were in excellent condition, the pigeons which I've seen come home. So I'd say it's been a very good race today. And have you supported the French one loft race? For the last few years, yes. Yes, we've done okay in the French race. In one final race, we had a nest pair of pigeons finish fourth open in the final and seventh open. So that was a good season for us. We have had other results. We've had a, another position in the top 10 in another race. Uh, we've won, I think, two hotspot races. So it's been a good race for us as well in the past. Yeah. Brilliant. Well done, thank you. Okay.